Hello and welcome to another Beehive growth tutorial where today we're going to cover how to set up subscriber signup tracking. Now, this is an incredibly important step if you're running things like uh, you know paid advertisements or maybe you just want analytics on your newsletter uh, so that you can see how users are behaving and interacting with your publication or you know maybe you're a business and you are integrating this newsletter into kind of the broader ecosystem of web properties. Regardless of your purpose, with the launch of our updated publications last week, there are some really powerful updates that can impact the way you're going to be doing tracking with your Beehive publication. So to get started, just to give you an example of the new publication, we have the signup form up here. There's one down here. There's one on each of the pages. We've built these sites so that when a user enters their email address, as long as it's a real email address, it's not fake and it's not a duplicate, the code on the back end is going to fire what's called an event that some of these analytics tools can pick up on and use to make your reporting more robust. Now, foundational to the setup we're going to describe is Google Tag Manager, uh, which is a tool that allows us to deploy code onto a website without actually modifying the source code so that it's non-destructive, it can be rolled back, it can be implemented super quickly and easily. The first step is going to be to go to your publication settings under publication and scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see there's a space for this Google Tag Manager pixel ID. You're going to create an account with Google Tag Manager and copy over the GTM container ID to that spot. We have another video on how to do this, so I'm not going to go into details here. One the next step is going to be to move to where we go to triggers. We're going to click new and it's going to pull up a screen that looks like this. We're going to call it signed up. We're going to go to trigger type and select custom event. And we're going to name that custom event signed up and we're going to have this trigger fire on all custom events. Now, if you already have some event tracking set up, where you might have been using a URL, you know, the uh, page contains dash welcome or something like that. Uh, if you already have a subscribe event, you'll just click into that event and you can then change the firing trigger from whatever you had it to, to signed up. And at a very basic level, you'll now be doing this event tracking. So uh, we'll get into more detail on how you can set up uh, robust GA4 meta and TikTok events that will uh, basically help you track performance on each individual platform. Um, but with those changes in place, when you hit publish under or submit to publish the uh, changes, you will now have that event tracking set up in a workable way. Thank you so much for your time. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at ej at beehive.com. Otherwise, look out for some of the other videos we're going to be doing on event tracking uh, for specific platforms. Uh, in the meantime, we look forward to seeing what you build.